All right, what is up, uh, everybody? We are live, uh, finally. Um, I apologize for the delay. I put those comments in the chat like a long time ago when I scheduled this stream, and I was like, 9.30 is doable, but it would take like everything going right. And so I was just like, I hope it happens because I, I really wanted to get back to this game as quickly as possible because I'm like super into it right now. And then, um, of course, nothing ever goes completely right. So here I am at 10, <laughs> but it's all good. I had, I had all the best intentions to get going a little bit earlier, but uh, it was not meant to be for the evening. So anyway, um, better late than never, as they say. And, uh, you know, if, if I, I should have just scheduled it for 10 to begin with, cause I had a feeling that it was going to take this long, but I was hoping, I was hoping for the best anyway. Um, enough of that. Let's get going. Um, let's see. So I stopped, I had just done the hunting grounds and then I did this. I think this, this relic ruins was like literally the last thing that I did last night before, um, before calling it quits. Uh, so that being said, We'll head this way, take out these question marks, get this campfire and kind of swing down here. And then barring like anything else popping up in this area, I'm going to warp to this campfire and then pick back up with the main story. So that is the plan. We'll see how everything goes. Um, let's see. This is a bristleback site. I'm hoping to get to, uh, I forget what, I, I think they spawn near water usually. Um, I forget what they're called, but they have like the the bellows item. I f but I think they squirt water at you or something like that. And um, I need that for a couple of my weapons. So I'm hoping I encounter those relatively soon-ish. I'm not planning on actually engaging these enemies over here, but I'm too anal. I ha I can't let I can't let unknown fire bristles back site be on my map. I have to know it. So in order to know it, I have to be close to it. Unless is this is this do I need to, to help somebody here? If, if I do, then I'll fight. Yeah, it looks like they're already fighting. So it's blazing time. I think. Are, there, are those blaze canisters? I don't know. I'm going to go back to my regular arrows. Yeah, those look like blaze canisters, although this one's already, already almost dead. All right, that one is dead. Is he coming after me? And by the way, sad day, ladies and gentlemen, when uh, it actually just jogged my memory because when I said it's blazing time, it actually made me think of it's morphin time as in like the power rangers like it's morphin time you know what i mean i i found out today that the one and only jason david frank some of you may know him as the white ranger or the green ranger of you know of the power rangers back in the day a legend an icon revered by many sadly passed away today i was i was very sad when i heard that news because oh dude i he was like my idol growing up I, I i adored him growing up and uh he uh unfortunately I'm going for it. left us too soon today so let this be a tribute to him he's actually uh those of you who've been watching the channel for a while know i i uh I'm from, uh, I, li I live in Houston, Texas, and Jason David Frank was actually, he actually lived in this area. And, uh, you know, he was a, he was a cool guy. I didn't know him personally, of course, but, um, back in the day, before, before marriage and all that stuff, I actually, uh, did, a, I did, I, I went skydiving a bunch of times. Like, I was really into it for a while. And um, for, 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 for a hot minute, I thought I wanted to, be, to, to get licensed so I could, you know, do it however, however often I wanted to. And when you're, when you're licensed, you can go without an instructor and it's way cheaper and, and that sort of thing. Um, I didn't get licensed, but I did go skydiving like 13 times or so. I think, I think 13 was the final tally before I called it quits. And why I've got this machine on me and I got this lady on me. Come on. Um... And uh, he actually was a uh, was a member of that same place that I went skydiving at. And I mean, he he's like a full fledged skydiver. Like he he was he went very frequently and was you know 
very good at it. Um, but I never did come across, across him there, but I, I, I knew from talking to some of the instructors that he was uh, a frequent customer of theirs. And those of you who remember the original Power Rangers movie, remember the skydiving scene at the very beginning of that movie. And that skydiving scene blew my ever-loving seven or eight-year-old mind at the time. Oh, man. So, rest in peace, Jason David Frank. That is my tribute to you. The man, the myth, the legend. I feel like it's just me versus this guy now. Oh, no, there's another machine here. My aim is not that great. I don't really know what I'm doing right now. Is this one that I've scanned already? No, it's not. Apex Claw Strider. Okay. I'm trying to get its tail. I can. Eh, eh, stop moving your tail. There you go. Oh, come on. That's three times. It didn't knock it off. Come on. There we go. There's the tail. I'm gonna go get it. Oops, that's not what the ammo I wanted. There we go. There it was. Wasn't expecting to fight here, but then there's an ongoing battle. I'm guessing I was supposed to help somebody here, so figure might as well see it through. Stop. Would you would you cut that out? Seriously. Seriously, that's enough. There we go. There we go. All right, kangaroo man. Ah. Come on, I'm just like pelting you in the face and it's like not doing any damage to you. All right, there we go. For more? Say it isn't so. Right, who's shooting me? I wish I wish this game had lock on. I mean, I know I know it would kind of trivialize it in some ways with the bow and arrow, but just like some some icon that shows like, hey, there's an enemy here. If I if I wanted to click to show like, hey, this is where the enemy's at. It probably exists. It's probably in the accessibility settings. I might just, I might even have it turned off. Get out of here. All right. My skill points thing is like blocking my, my where I'm trying to hit the, hit the enemy here. So why, I, I wonder why the machines and the humans are both against me here. Okay. Was this not part of a quest or anything? It's all good. What's up, Kirsten? Thanks for tuning in. Brock is listening too. Awesome. Well, hello, Stonebrink family. Hope you all are doing well tonight. And anyone else who might be tuned in, hello to you as well. Thanks to all who are watching slash listening, etc. Y'all are all amazing. Tell Brock that he needs to stop playing, or he, he he needs to stop playing Ragnarok, and then and watch me play video games. Up, oh, this is a flower. I can't get past the flower. I wonder what this shrine is for. So that means I can't get to here either. That's okay. This looks like a gate. Then I might not be able to get past. We'll see. What's up, Jesse? How you doing, man? Good to see you, as always. Hope you've had a great day so far. Pretty sunset colors. Or are these? Yeah, these are sunset colors. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. New Rebel Outpost. But 
where? I don't see a marker on my map for a rebel outpost. That's right here. Is this a quest? Find the outpost leader and kill the rebels. Okay. Cool. I can do that. I can do that. Brock did watch you play a lot of this game. Did he play it himself? Oh, that, that must have been sunrise colors. Can't enter this location. Why? But why? Isn't this an open world game? I thought this was an open world game. Really puts a damper on things when there's just like, uh, oh, you can't go here. It's here, but you can't go here for some arbitrary reason. Okay, whatever. I will obey... All right, so, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this part of the map because, like, I can't... This is a underwater. I can't breathe underwater long enough to do that part. And then all this crap is, like, underwater. I can't breathe long enough underwater to do. Um, Shadow's Reach. Why isn't this green? Oh, he played Zero Dawn, but you asked if you could play Forbidden West. Look at that. Taking turns. All right. So I'm just going to warp here then. And it's back on with the main story. Yeah, my wife, my wife doesn't play much um, herself. She did watch me play a little bit of Zero Dawn back in the day. But pretty much ever since I started streaming, especially since we moved and like I have my kind of own office thing going now and I play on a computer monitor now, I don't play on like my, I don't play on our TV anymore. Um, no one really watches me anymore because yes. pretty much I, think it'll be better this I don't play more or less. I don't play outside of creating content anymore. I mean, very seldom after you, Aloy. Ooh, very pretty. I need to head further west to um get more of Gaia's components, make her stronger. You two can stay here in the meantime, and Gaia can help get you up to speed. I gotta be freezing. You out. This it's like training. Actually. I'm gonna go back east to get Erend. Bring him here. Look, allies, friends, can help. We have a place to stay now. And like you said, Gaia can teach us, catch us up. It'll be okay. Okay. Take these then. One to wear, one for backup. And while you're at it, stop by Stone's Echo and look for Milu. Give her a message for Talana that I found a way over the mountains. Will do. Are you going with him? No. After what happened in the cave below, I want to stay here a while. There is much I need to understand. Maybe by the time you get back, I'll have a thing or two I can teach you. Looking forward to it. When will you be back? I'm, uh, I'm not sure. But hopefully I'll have one of Gaia's missing components with me. Be careful out there. Even in Plainsong, we heard how the Tanakh clan lands are suffering from storms, machines, and now Regala. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. 
Good hunting, Aloy. The Tamath clan lands. Somewhere out there's three of Gaia's subfunctions. And who knows what else. Okay, what is my next mission? The Sea of Sands. And Broken Sky. So I've got more than one main quest. That's an oxymoron. There, how can there be more than one main quest? By definition, there should only be one main quest. Uh, oh, you love this next part. Okay, cool. Aloy must travel to the heart of Tanakh territory in search of uh, Ether, one of Gaia's lost subordinate functions. Pursuit of Poseidon. Okay, so I can, I can switch. I need, I need, okay, that's why. Because I need Ether, Poseidon, and Demeter. But I've decided to do this one first. So that's how you can, you can switch back and forth. Uh... Is there anything else on this tree that I want? Smoke bomb capacity. Nah. Silent strike gain. I don't care about the stamina and valor. I don't care about stamina and valor. I don't care about smoke bomb capacity. Ooh, recover health when using silent strike. Y'all know this is my jam right here. Level two. Perfecto. Let's see, quiet movement enhance. Yes, please. Reduce your visibility. I'm going to get that probably next, if I remember. I didn't see myself maxing out or, or getting this far in this tree as, as early as I did, as early as I am, but there's some good stuff in this tree. And, uh,. Kirsten, look at this. One out of 20 for trappers. Who needs this crap? Um, literally the most worthless. All right, so I'm going to get... Sunwing. Oh, I haven't, I haven't fought Sunwings yet. I need to check that out. So I need to go, like, this way and then circle up. Here I come. Can I shoot you? Yeah. Look at that. Precision aiming. Where did he land, though? There we go. Give me goodies that I need. Yeah. Oh, that was just rich meat. Day's going well. Just catching up with some report writing. So nice to have some DB streams to listen in the background. Awesome, dude. Well, always glad to have you. Glad I could provide some uh, some entertainment while you do we do some work. Okay, new machine. Laser beams. Hello. There we go. I was aiming for that. Oh, I missed it again. Right in the noggin. All right. Well, I'll just sit right here. Enough. 
groups. Are you too far away to hit? No. I just suck at aiming. Ooh. I don't even know what the status effect does. But he is really hurting me. I don't appreciate that one bit, dude. Don't you know I'm trying to save the world? Oh no, 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 no. I've, I've almost got this one down. Used all elemental states. How did I? I didn't use any elementals on that. Whatever. I mean, I'll take it. I'm not gonna be mad about it. Oh, I'll be mad about that though. No, I don't have. I don't have any berries left. What is this? All right, I'm in trouble. No when to hold him and no when to fold him. Adios. Yeah, I don't know. Dad gummit, I need to remember to do the Valor Surge crap. I never remember to do that. I do have a sharpshooter bow. I just don't think to use it in the heat of battle. All right, I need some berries, dude. I need... All right, I got this campfire. I'm going to go somewhere where I have, like, an item box so I can get more berries. Because I have, a, I have a, a crap ton of berries in storage. And I'm in... I, I, I need them. I need the berries. Very badly. All right, here we go. Yeah, look at... How many, how many berries? I got... 2,056 Ridgewood in here. 367 berries. Yes, I want to take them all. Minis will let me. Alright, so now I need to do that. Get some mo. Bingo. Yeah, so I might try that again with a sharpshooter bow, because I got, um, yeah, this one. The arrows are more expensive to craft, though. Machine muscle. I don't know how you even get machine muscle. I probably have a bunch of it in storage, though. Wait a minute. Why am I going? Isn't there a campfire here? There should be. Here we go. You let me take a look at you, stranger. Stranger, buy. you'll miss out on a good trade. What are you buying? Ranger. You're the outlander who stood against Regala and her rebels. Only if it means we're good here. Don't worry. I'm not here to drink your blood, or whatever you Easterners think we do. The slaughter at the embassy wasn't your fight, yet you stood by the Martians. As far as I'm concerned, you're no enemy of the Tanakh. But you are going to need help if you plan on surviving the clan land. I hear and see many things as a scout. I could share them with you. Aid you on your journey. I'd be grateful. Well then. I spotted a group of Asram salvagers wandering the edge of the desert, near the southwestern border. I'd report it, but I don't think they'll last long. If the machines down there don't get them, the storms will. 
Oh, that's kind of you. Sounds like those Osram could use a hand. Ooh, more contracts. Keep an eye out for them if I'm down there. Shock bolt blaster. So Kirsten, did you ever use warrior bows? I don't see the uh, the lure in using them. Those are like the short range ones. Zerker Hunter Bow and Explosive Spike Thrower. Hmm. So, I don't think I need to go back here. I killed one of them. I'm happy with that. I am, however, going to go up here. That bird literally just flew through the rock. I can't break my fall. Strange things happening here in the Forbidden West. They really did us a solid by adding that uh, glider thing to this game. a flower. Can't do anything about it. Once I learn this ability, I'm going to have so many places to go back to. It's not even funny. Okay. So my next spot is like way out there. I mean, I'm tempted to just hit up the tall neck, like go that direction and hit up the tall neck. Favorite thing is to climb up to the top of the mountains and glide down. It's so pretty. Oh, I do get an enormous amount of enjoyment out of that as well. I mean, I played Breath of the Wild before I started this channel, but I did that probably more than I ought to have just because it was fun. And it was so peaceful. It was serene. The, thing about the, 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 the only thing about Breath of the Wild is... It's like, yeah, it's been a hundred years. Yeah, like Ganon's gonna, you know, end the world, blah, blah, blah. But there was like no sense of urgency in that game. It was just like... I, I, I had no real compelling reason to go to Hyrule Castle and kill Ganon. I, I had every compelling reason to climb up on the top of every single mountain that, that I could see and, and just fly off of it just because. Just because it was fun and just because it was peaceful and the world was amazing. So now I'm on the other side. I can get in here now, but no, I can't get in from the other side that wasn't blocked off. All right. Haha, uh -huh. you fell off. That's what you get for being a douchebag. Oh, I don't want that equipped. It's like, why am I firing so slow? Oh, 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 you want a, you want a piece of me? Okay, Mr. Automatic Gun Dude. Where'd he go? I'm gonna... Let me get him. Oh, there he is. Oh, 
Hi, buddy. Look at that. You got your fancy gun. I'll wreck you with the bow and arrow. And then I get to do this. Oh, no. Hold on. Hold on. Pick it up. What are you doing? Pick it up. Pick it up. There we go. No, oh, no, no, no. Okay. Yeah, that. I pressed the wrong button. That's, that's my problem. Here we go. All right. Hey, where are you? Where are you? Where's everybody? Oh, there he is. Hey, bad move. Bad move, dude. Maybe, maybe. There we go. Ah. Where are your, where are your buddies at? Oh, there's one. Will you, though? I don't think so. Peasy. Oh, where are you? You're like all the way up there. I see you. You still suck. Boom, headshot. Ha ha. Ha ha. Still someone else, man. I need berries. Oh, explosion. There's more people here. Just can't see anything because it's dark. See, I got full health. Now tell me again why I couldn't come through here from that side. Tell me why. Oop, I heard something. Aha, I can grapple up there. I was like wondering how to, how the heck do I get up there? The Outlander's gone! Let's get back! Uh, no. Nope. Let's make sure she doesn't surprise us next time. <laughs> Let's make sure she doesn't surprise us next time. Arrow to the face. Go, go. Oh, how bad does it suck to be woefully incompetent? That was cute. Too easy. We can't let her surprise us again. Ugh.
Well, we'll have to worry about running out. Looked at your stats today. About half of your human kills were headshots. You love to just hide in the grass and pick them off one by one. Oh, it is satisfying. It is very, very satisfying. Okay, why can't... There we go. Is there literally, like, nothing in this camp? Oh, I see something here, right? No? Like, below me. can't be all. There's got to be something cool here. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know anything. Alright, cool. Guess I'm done here. It seemed like there was a loot crate that was like that was on the lower level. Hey, can I climb this? There's handholds here. I don't know. All right, we're done here. No, I'm going to call my mount. I'll call you Epona. Hey, hey, buddy. Sit still. There we go. I really miss the ability to jump. Torrent spoiled me. Not going to lie. yourself. We don't need to do this. I just wanted to unlock that. No need to get get all antsy with everybody. Okay. Is campfire unlocked? Yes, it is. Um, Shell snapper. Let's check that out. I don't need to be mounted anymore. Ooh. Bike snout. And it's a drone. It's another one of the drones. Ooh, an iguana. I need these. I need to be not like wandering aimlessly here. Um, such pretty colors. Ooh, what's that? 
Bellow back. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Can I mark its path? Yeah, it's going to come over here. Yeah. I will take that something special and that. All right, what can I shoot off of you? I should probably use this bow. Whoop. Missed. Oh, wow. Oh, in that case. Hey, man. That would be two. A different element now. Weak versus the acid. I don't like that you can outrange me. I think this is a job. Maybe not. Oh, no. Quite the javelin thrower is Aloy. Frosting like literally everything that I'm standing on. Yeah, there we go. Put that war paint on. Where'd you go? Dude, I've like barely done anything to his health. However, you... I'm happy to do that to you. Mr. Shell Snapper go.
There he is. Hey, bud. What? All right, that was kind of garbagey. I'm pretty sure that was a one hit kill. This music sounds a lot like Sekiro. I, you know, that thought actually, believe it or not, did cross my mind as well. I hope that it still gives me credit for... Um, catching that drone, even though I died. Yes, it did. Good. Good game. Good game. Good game. Hello, Mr. Iguana. I have nothing against you personally. Ooh, what's this here? No. Dang it. These ones are easy to kill. All I gotta do is blow up this thing on their back. And then Mr. Shelter decides to... Oh, so he's weak versus fire too. I'm gonna try using fire on him next. I have no idea what the status effect is that I'm inflicting on them, but I like it. It seems powerful. Hey, no need for that. I shoot this purple thing on you. Oh, you're even out of range for my sharp shot bow. That's not allowed. All right, you're going to be that way. Why is your fire build up? No. Oh, I rolled right into that one. Okay, yeah, you're like a little bit extra. I'm gonna go up to my perch.
You know, I think I need to get some more healing in my uh, abilities. Like increased berry potency. Now that my health bar is a lot larger, that would go a long way. Oh lord. I'm shooting you in the mouth when you're trying to shoot those things at me, and, and you still get them off. still alive. I don't even know. I feel like I do no damage to this guy. Now he's all the way back there again. Come on, dude. Needed to give him a good scan. Okay, I know he's weak versus fire. I know that. Okay, so a large combat machine equipped with a shell that absorbs attacks, converting and storing the energy to power, devastating. Okay. So his energy shield shell cannot be destroyed. Absorbs energy from all damage to power its most devastating attacks. Remove by detaching the shell bolts. Oh, that is... Detach or destroy to remove the shell and expose vulnerable components beneath. Mid-range heavy weapon that sprays powerful blasts of frosts. Okay, so I need to focus on those fasteners and stop hitting a shell. Highly protected power source destroy to cause a plasma explosion and disable. Okay. Destroy to disable frost attacks or leave intact to add loot to the carcass. This dude is extra. All right, so the fasteners. I got to focus on the fasteners. I think. I think, but where did he go? He burrowed, I think. Come out, come out, wherever you are. See you. There you are. Now you're all the way back there again, dude. That's not, that's not cool. All right, I think these are the fasteners, like. I, yeah. Well, now I can use my regular bow. Now 
These things are hard to get off. I've hit it like four times. I've got decent tear damage. Wow, these are hard to get off. Oops, I hit the shell. There we go. Coward. That's half the battle, is I was hitting his shell, and then that, like, charges up his most powerful attacks, and that's why he was killing me in one hit. So, makes sense. Come on back, dude. Oh, why are you all the way over there? No. No. Here we go. I see you. He's like, enough of you. Enough of your BS. All right, whatever you do, don't hit the shell. Aye, aye. I was still in range of that attack. Take your whole shell off, dude. Oh. Well, bye. Lost track. Oh, there you are. Why are you going under again? I really hope I get something good for killing this thing. If anything, I can just explore this area in peace. Fastener, dang it. Oh, that one hit me right in the face. This thing didn't burrow, it wouldn't be so bad. But the fact that he burrows makes this significantly more annoying.
But half the time I'm just waiting around for him to come back up. There we go. No, don't go away again. Dude, you are getting on my nerves. All right, I'm getting really impatient, which is bad because that means I'm going to go attack him head on and then he's going to kill me in one hit. And I don't I don't have a whole heck of a lot of healing left here. Too far away even for my sharp shot bow. Dude, come on. Hey, he doesn't know I'm here. That was big. I like that. No, I don't want to hit the shell. All right. I was not expecting that thing to explode. That was actually quite nice. Now is not the time to die. If I can get that other one to explode, I think that'll kill him. There's no way that something that big could move that freely underground. Didn't mean to use that arrow. Got him. Oh. Well, I got a level up out of the deal. It only took long enough. He better give me some like grade A loot. Oh, wow. That's a lot. A large machine core. That sounds good. All right, you're going to go boom. You gonna go boom. Oh, that hurt me too. That's okay. Hurt him way more than it hurt me. Where do you think you're going, dude? I 
Is this a carcass? Does not look alive. Can I loot you? No. Can I shoot you? Ooh. Okay. Well, that was fruitful. Sort of. Okay. I think I'm going to stick to this path, hit up this tall neck, and then weep at all of the things I'm going to have to do after I, uh, unlock this section of the map. I'll have no less than 6,000 things to do after uh, unlocking the tall neck. Oh, am I stumbling on another ruins? I am. I am all about, like, hitting up stuff along the way. Ravager site. I'm getting campfires. That's important for warping and stuff. have any particular desire to fight that. Cook should know what to do with this. I wonder what they used all these machines for. Aloy, that would be a car. It go vroom vroom. Uh, I think I want to hit up this uh, this ruin site here. An old world ruin built into the cliff. I don't know what's inside. There's some kind of tunnel. I should take a look around. Metal flower. I don't think I can get past those vines. Better leave it for now. Okay. In that case, I'm going to come back to this place later because. Ooh, berserk buildup. Because I'm gonna I'm gonna come back to this place anyways later to unlock that flower, so no need to do the whole shebang, and then just to come back here later anyway. There's a question mark. We're gonna come back here later. We are officially coming back here later, ladies and gentlemen. I'm forcing myself. Oh, I hey. Way past those vines. I guess I should come back later. Those seem to not care that I was right there in front of them. However, got your attention now. Who else is up there? Oh. What are, you, what are you? Oh, you're one of those, um... Yeah.
I suck at hitting your weak point. for that tall neck. I'm just going ahead and mark them on my map. Oh, are you a bad guy? You look like you'd be a bad guy. Is this, a, is this an enemy camp? Screw y'all. So I need to cut back to this. Me wants the campfire. Here we go. Ooh, what is that? That's like a big ol'... My curiosity is Pete. Oh, it's a Tanakh. Okay. Is that like their main city? I will go there when I'm told. I'm assuming I will be told at some point. go. Winner, winner. Vulture. Dinner. There's my tall neck. I see you. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. There's gotta be a way to get up the tall neck. Are you kidding me? That's not cool. That is not cool. Gauntlet run. What the heck is that? I'm all about the puzzles and stuff, but if you're going to give me a tall neck, I got to be able to get the tall neck. Let's find out what those 
Thanks to Locke for doing it. Y'all are welcome, Over by here. the way. Yeah, yeah. And I didn't order you to sprint into them with your eyes shut. Always expect danger. I'm, uh, guessing you're a... How did you end up in trouble with those? You need to answer our question. Hatakto, she just fought. That doesn't mean she's an ally. That's pretty much exactly. And we've enough to do chasing down these regal without picking fights with Nora. Regala's desert to not. We should be fighting alongside her instead of sitting. Regala has forgotten her duty. And let we will speak about this later. You fought with courage and honor. You're free to go on the grove? Our capital. If you want to spend time in this area, you'd be wise to check in with the command. Regala's broken her duty, then why aren't we bringing her to justice? Because we follow orders. Alright, I gotta check out this tall neck because. There's gotta be something to do with it. I, I, I do see that little padlock there, but. Still. I have two of three vulture feathers. How about that? Oh, Lord. Oh, there's two of them. Maybe I had to kill these Ravagers to unlock it. Oh, dude, that's the range on that thing is not cool. You know, her ability to make ammo on the fly like that is quite remarkable. My life is on the line and she's like, ho-hum, I'm going to make 24 arrows right now. All right, I need to get that cannon off of you and use it against you. There we go. Ask and you shall receive. Whoops. And if I, you know, used it correctly, that would also help me a lot. I want the, I want, give me the critical. There we go. Oh boy, that looks bad. How many dad dumb enemies are over here? Holy crap. Dude, okay, this is a bit of a pickle. More than I bargained for. And these, these homeboys over there were having trouble with a few freaking chargers. Try this crap. And a charger for good measure. Are you the one that has the backpack thing that blows up? Yeah. Oh, whoa, 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 where did you come from? Charger. No, that's not allowed.
If I had gotten killed by a charger in, in all of this, that would have been tragic. Alright. I have so much crap to loot if I win this thing. And this had better give me something. This had better give me access to the tall neck. If I'm doing all this work. Uh, hit the hit the thing. Hit the thing. Stop trying to acid me, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Well, you're just gonna follow me if I go up there. Oh, he's down. He's down. Oh crap, oh crap, no, 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 no. I don't have any berries in my pouch either, which is bad. Okay, can I get the kill here? Please, please, please. Oof. Oh crap. I am out of healing, except for potions. All right. You're almost dead. Almost about to pull this off. Holy crap. Need not speak too soon, though. Oh, yes. Berries, berries. Give me all the berries. Yes. I'll grab this now. So much loot, so little time. That was cute. Oh, that... Hey there, buddy. that oh crap okay I think that's everything oh, I don't need that ravager cannon that would have been nice about a minute ago 
I'm gonna shoot that tall neck with that Ravager cannon if it won't let me up it. I see you over here. Not what I wanted to hit. Ooh, nope, not good, not good, not good. There's got to be, like, I will be severely disappointed if there's not, like, a really good reason for me to fight all these things. Like, I put a lot of time into this encounter. And the only reason, quite frankly, why I decided to do all this was because it was right next to the tall neck and I... I uh, hypothesize that it might have something to do with the tall neck. Because there are like a bajillion machines right around the tall neck, so I figured maybe. Oh, there's another one. Oh, this is such a charger. You're going to be gone in like two hits. Maybe three hits. That's fine. More? What are you? There's two more. He's still got that padlock on him. That's got to be everybody. I mean, I've killed like six of those spike snout things. I killed some ravagers, burrowers, chargers. stock I use like literally all my berries okay Got another machine over there I refuse to believe that they put an inaccessible tall neck right here.
Must be a secret to get to it. I mean, only thing I can think of is like gliding from somewhere, but there's nowhere like high enough around here. They are not amused. May I reiterate how mad I will be if I die at this point? Okay, what, what, what just happened? Brock, have a good night. Take care, man. Thanks for stopping by. All right, anybody in the chat? I just want a yes or a no. Can I do anything with this tall neck right now? Like, is this is this something that can be discerned at this point in time? Can I... Is this a puzzle that I can currently figure out, or will I need to come back later? Yes or no? I don't want to know the solution. I just want to know if it's possible. See, my theory is, was, that it may have something to do with all the machines that are around it. They had to get rid of them before you could do anything about it, but... Now, whoa, what 
is that thing? Oh, I think I have an idea of what you need to do. And yes, it will it will occur later. But that may ugh, that still makes no sense because what good is having a tall neck unlocked? If you can't get it till like later in the game. The purpose of a tall neck is to reveal the map where you're at. To help you with like navigation and stuff. So like coming back here later after I've already explored everything does me no good. Where's my uh It's giving me a question mark here. Does anybody know Jesse? Are you still around? Do you know? Let's see. Healing. Efficiency potions. I want medicine capacity. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, low health stuff, I don't typically... I mean, you don't really have a chance to be low health. Like, once you're low health, you're basically already dead. So this thing. Oh, it's a thunder jaw. Yep. Yeah, nope. That's not going to work. I do not have the power yet. I will soon. Not yet. Because my theory is I know that there's a point where you can like fly on crap later. Now you might have to fly and like land on it somehow, but that to me just defeats the whole purpose because I think you learn flying late, much later in the game and a tall neck, again, the purpose of such things is to um, is to open up the map before, you know, before you already see everything. Arg. Maybe I bet you know I bet you like it's a side quest. I bet you like I have to go into the city and someone is going to like be like a hey, let's go get the you know, let's do the tall neck, and then I'm like, okay, and then they'll So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go to the city next. I think those people like pseudo invited me to the city, sort of, kinda, maybe. Lucky day, vulture. Maybe. Never mind, I take that back. Ooh, I got a vulture wishbone. I can get I can upgrade my precision arrow quiver. Alright. Man, I have the sides. I was really looking forward to getting that tall neck. But I think I can go here and there might be some, uh, some folks. This looks to be an old solar farm. 
I'm guessing these are solar panels. It looks like those look like solar panels. But I thought the other tribe worshipped the sun. That would be awesome if like the sun worshipping city was like in the middle of a solar panel farm. Yes, I see an exclamation point. The happiest I've been to see one yet, because I assume, wrong as I may be, that the side quest. Not one more step. The Tanakh don't suffer outlanders in the clan lands. But I saved. I was given right of passage yes. by Marshal Fashion. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm not here to fight. They're like blood. This is the warrior who defeated Gruda, champion of the traitor Regala. Her life is not ours to take. You may enter, but mind our ways. You will be watched. I'll keep that in mind. Because Kirsten, if I do recall, you skipped a lot of the side quests. So I bet you it's a side quest related thing. I do want to um, upgrade stuff. Purge water, hunter bow? I don't think I have a purge water weapon. I'm going to buy it just because I think I need it. I don't think I have a blast sling yet. I'm going to buy it because, well, oh, no, I can't buy it. I need a rope caster. Ooh, very rare, huh? But I don't have stuff. Ooh, that thing is powerful. Ooh, snap. Tide Ripper Circulator. Are you looking to trade? Ah, oh, yes, I can. No, I can't upgrade that. Dang it. What do I need to upgrade my main bow? I need bellow back sack. That's right. Ooh, I can max this out. Sweet. Precision arrow quiver is upgraded. Still need rabbit hide and picari bone for my main quiver. Oh, uh, this is uh the dudes. This is the fighting arena. Then. 
see small health potions. Oh, I can buy this stuff? Don't mind if I do. Oh, I can just buy this crap and upgrade my pouches. That's wonderful. I'm out of metal shards. Maybe that was a bad idea. No, thank you. Should have metal shards in my uh hey, some strike. Item box. This easy? Do I not? I don't have metal shards in here. Oh, okay. Well, perhaps I was a little bit overzealous with buying the, uh, the stuff, but that's okay. Now I can upgrade stuff. Worth it. Oh yeah, I can I can sell crap for metal shards. That's right. Thank you. We're back in business. Now, to upgrade my quiver, my main quiver, I need a Picari bone and a rabbit hide. Or peccary, whatever, however you say that. Beats at machine. Ouch. See rabbit hide. In a peccary bone. There we go. So note to self, this place has tons of resources. Good to know. You can never have too many of those. Don't pass by a level one. That's interesting. All right, so we got this side quest down here. This is your Close the armor shop. Uh. 
Should I do this? Might as well. What's going on here? Close combat train. Fighting at long range is a good spot. Fighting an enemy soldier means getting up. I'm Lee Rocket. Are only a few outlanders have ever been but from what I've heard. You can train here if you but you're only allowed your spear and a practice. Everything else stays with and if you're looking to test your fighting skills, complete all of them, and you'll get And what happens if I'll grant you a mark to prove you've mastered this train. If you earn marks from me and the pit masters of the bulwark and thorn march, you'll earn the right to challenge the enduring. I think I've heard of the enduring. More than just a trainer. The enduring is a legendary fighter among the clans. The master of masters. Only those who prove themselves in the pits get to... Including outlanders? Yes. If you can beat all... So, what will it be? Should you want to practice or take on a challenge? Just... Okay. Warrior's Wrath. Elite warriors are efficient, deadly, and precise. Land a basic combo. Follow up with a power attack. And finish with a resonator blast. Okay, so I have to use those combos R1, 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 R2, and do a power attack, resonator blast. Got it. Just as you can combine single attacks, you can also chain combinations. Try it with this one. That was easy. Elite warriors don't just look for openings, they create them. Rise above your opponent and finish them off with a precise resonator blast. Defeat them with the following combos. Aerial slash. Trigger a resonator blast while in the air. different. I want you to practice using aerial slash to chain into an aerial shot. Put your melee skills to the test. Defeat Liroke, the desert to knock pit master. Liroke is a battle hardened soldier and elite fighter. Known him on the clan as the desert's ravager. His fast and precise counterattacks have won many decisive victories. You will only use your spear. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Good. That was a good fight. Pretty sure I'll have a bruise to remember it by. Here, a mark is promised. Glad I went ahead and did that. One down, I guess. Go to the training pits in the Bulwark and Thorn Marsh. Earn their marks, then you can challenge the Enduring. Few have ever done so, but I think you might have a shot. And if you want to train more or take on another challenge, let me know. The pit will always welcome you. The Pitmaster. Another time, Lee, okay. Very well then. Around these parts, a Pitmaster is someone who is really good at cooking barbecue. Ooh, that looks bad. Is that like a torture rack? Or is he getting a tattoo? He's getting a tattoo. Okay. You wanted to speak to me? The name's Zoka. I'm guessing. One of the desert's village. They send their yield of ash blood over there to mark the skin, but it's been a long time since the last. If you think something happened to them, can't you? Were it up to me. But the capital's already dealing with machines, storm. No one can be spared. My face paint will strike fear in your enemies. Ah, uh, okay, so I can. Here's where I can do the, the face painting.
This Karja makeup is dramatic. Look at that. And I feel like I ought to stick to Nora stuff. I mean, keep it real. Pick a style of paint. Oh, that that cost me money. Oh well. You mentioned the village up north sends some supplies to the. Ca it's a crimson stone that we grind into powder for our bleeding mark has the largest. Our soldiers there gather and deliver it to us. In ex Die for water. Everyone in the clan depends on the wound in the sand for their water. Capital and outlying village alike. But the last delivery of ash blood was our supply is running low. If I'm out that way, I can look in on the village. You have my thanks. Head north to a ruin where the desert bats bleeding mark. Ask for Kentok or Natika there. See face painter. Is that the only oh that is the only side quest in here? That makes me sad. I was really, really hoping for um Watch your step something to do with that tall neck. Now that was I am disappoint. Trap limit? No. Oh, that looks cool. Okay, well, I guess maybe if I go to this place up north... Maybe, just maybe, that's another town that'll have people with side quests that maybe can help me with this tall neck. If I don't get any indicator, I might, uh, I might be Googling it after I'm done with the stream. All right, Kirsten, thanks for hanging out tonight. Have a good one. pouch prairie dog bone okay go
Guess the game thinks I need a bunch of, of metal shards now. I don't know why those are highlighted on my map. Oh, bunnies. Won't you get the bunny? Oh, what the heck is that? I come in peace. I've had enough. I've done enough fighting. I fought all that crap out by the tall neck for no, no good reason. So my appetite for combat is a little bit, a little bit on the low side right now. Soka was talking about. Looks like the whole place flooded. Maybe from a recent storm. Wonder if anyone made it out. Best check around the shore. There are a few survivors on that overlook. I should see if they're okay. Is he all right? Uh, he will be. <sighs> there. But what about the others? Let me worry about that. Rest now. I'm Natika. You're a long way from the east, Outlander. You're Natika. So this must be Bleeding Mark. What's left of it? How do you know this place? The Inker's Apprentice and Scalding Spear told me to find you. He was worried something happened to your supply caravan. Well, as you can see, we have more important problems than delivering ash blood. What happened here? The last storm caused a deluge that brought down half of the mountain. The mudslide barreled right through the village. As you heard, we have many missing. But I need to keep watch on these two. I can take a look around. If I find anyone, I'll send them your way. Much appreciated. And if you see an older soldier, grim-faced, goes by Kentok, tell him... Tell him I'm here. I might be able to use my focus to find any survivors. Let's see here. Bad news, tests are unofficially speaking as a no-go. Even with the latest mining bo bots and extraction techniques, vapor toxicity will exceed DCE mandated limits by 21%. But hear me out, there's a huge amount of cinnabar on on or near the surface, even after all this time, capital outlay for the construction and cleanup would be well within our budget, and aerospace demand for liquid mirror lenses is trending in our way. Not to mention the market for vaccine thimerosal. thimerosal. Overall, mercury prices are up 12% this quarter alone. I'm acquainted with a third party that can help with the toxicity data. Very discreet, very reliable. Not just line item crap fixes either full proliferation throughout the database she's not cheap but well worth the cost once we're up and running this deal is too good to give up now let me know what you think dave there ah. people in that tower I wish you're there. Let's see how to get up here. Ah. 
I kick this in? This is definitely an interactable. Cannot be open from the side. Okay. Okay, how the heck? Doesn't look like there's a way to swim into the broken building. I need something to get me over the metal wall and inside. All right, so we have an on-site undercover operative at a defunct Cinnabar Mine in Western Nevada. This operative has intercepted communications regarding conspiracy to Ill illegally reopen the mine, defraud the DCE, and expose local wildlife to toxic levels of mercury vapor. Data attached. We will give the DCE two weeks to investigate, after which we will forward this information to all available Hollow News outlets. Life for all, all for life. The Eco-Anon Covert Action Committee. Focus can help me search. No. There's a metal clamp. Doesn't look like it's... I don't see how you'd shoot that. It's not like visible on the outside. It's like inside the My focus might see something. What? 
Can't jump up there. There you go. Yeah, like how do you that that's like inside the thing. See it from here, maybe. Is that it? There's nothing for my pole caster to latch on to. Because, like, it's right there, but you can't see it from behind. You can't see it from in front. My focus here. Shut up. I'm using my focus. It's right there. Can be moved with the pool caster. Oh, really? I'm not seeing it. I do want to climb up there, though. Vulnerable to projectile impact. I wonder if my focus can show me anything. Okay, that's 0 for 2. Climbing the wall. Yeah, it sees two things, but neither of which uh, work. to projectile damage, you say? Ay, ay, ay. Thank you. 
Gliden? Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Dude, I'm like literally... This has impact damage. the freaking okay hold on I'm I am googling this what, what's the name of this place I'm at Leading mark. Leading mark brain spool. Out to move the crane. Come out to the village, blah, blah, blah. Use a pool caster to move the metal beam at the base. Check. Jump to the water to the left and ignite the underwater. Okay. My focus did not show me the underwater fire gleam. Thanks, Google. Okay, crane's in place. Now, how to lower it to reach the cliff. I should take a look at the bottom of the crane's arm. See if there's a way to move it. But now, that is exposed. Probably that dumb spool. Now. Here we go. This thing's about to drop. Watch out. We're clear. Blood of the tin. 
How'd you manage to do that? Don't mind if I steal all your crap. I don't know how you did it, but thanks for the rescue. Is everyone okay? His legs snapped against some debris as we were making a run for it, but he'll live. How'd you get stuck up here? A mudslide tore through the village in the last storm. This ledge was just above the flood when we got to it. And by the time everything calmed down, the water had receded, leaving us stranded. And we couldn't leave a fellow soldier behind. Can you make it to the shore from here? Natika's there, tending to the wounded. Natika. Thank the dead. We'll head for her location. She'll know what we should do next. When the mudslide hit, I saw some of the others running towards the metal towers. You might want to check there. Thanks. I'll look into it. All right, the metal towers. I didn't see anyone who looked like Kentok. Maybe he's with the other survivors. Ow. I'm gonna try to climb this thing. Using frost won't Ooh. help here. Ruh -roh. You stay away. Weak root anchorage. Noted. Wings holding up. to get to the top should be able to cross over to the survivors from there Let's see here um up to that. Get this ladder down? No. All right. Oh, wrong button.
Um. It's on a roll. You gonna kick? I'm gonna go back down to the bottom. I think I can kick this open now for easy access, right? Can I? No? Or hold on. Oh, here we go. There's a ladder on the other building. I can make that jump. Can't open this up. Crap. No! That was our only way out. Everyone okay? You're not one of us. Sorry. Yes. We took shelter in here when a mudslide swept through the village, but debris blocked the passage we came in through. That ladder was our only way out, but we couldn't reach it from here. Don't worry. I'll find us another way out of here. Do you know what happened to the others? Before we ran in here, I thought I saw a few of our comrades climbing up a watchtower on the north side, near the grotto. I'll look into it. As soon as you're out, head for the shore. Natika's waiting on an overlook there. So she survived. Good. We'll join her as soon as we have a way out. Okay. Sit tight for now. Okay, now a way out of here. That should help you all, I guess, right? Yeah? Yeah? Maybe? Oh. Sure, in a moment. It didn't look like Kentok was with this group. Okay, better find this watchtower on the north end. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. Aldrin up there. Looks like I'm gonna have to fight some stuff. Hope this tastes as good as it looks. Machines must have moved in after the flood. Alright, there's that, uh, alligator-looking thing. Is that it right there? Hey, Outlander! Oh, no crap! No, 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 I don't want to be in the water! Sit tight! I'll take care of him!
Ah, he got me. No, 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 no. Oh, I thought I thought I was about to die there for some reason. Blocks most of his attacks. I'll take that. Not those though. Oh jeez. Oh no. Getting greedy here. Getting greedy. I'm in his turf. Canister off. There we go. What? Is there another one under here? There is. Sweet, not too bad. Good look. for the north now. We're coming down. What's up, Zenners? How you doing, man? Oh, that was the, the watchtower? Okay. Is everyone okay? Better now, without snap moths prowling around. You sure know how to fight. Have you seen Kentok? Natika asked me to keep an eye out for him. Last I saw him was before the mudslide hit. Okay. Head for the shore, on the other side of the village. Natika's there with the other survivors. Will do. Thanks again. Hey. Okay. That's it. Go. 
60, so you can go all the way up this thing. stuff up here. Like a campfire, so I don't have to come all the way back up here later, but... see here. It's got to be something. Oh, there's still a ways to go. Hold on to this for later. Okay, well, maybe it isn't really much of a reason for climbing up all the way. Because I'm just like kind of falling along the edge here. That does look cool. Holy crap, that mountain. That looks insane. Ooh. I like it. What's that chimey noise? Oh, that looks so good. Like th this looks like th this this looks photorealistic. Sorry, bunny. like off the off the map almost I'm surprised it hasn't like stopped me from going forward yet yeah, this looks like it's out of bounds almost climb until I get to the top. It is now my my mission to summit whatever this is. Oh, there's more ahead of me. Okay. Is this the invisible wall? Yeah, this is the invisible wall. All right. It was worth it. If nothing, just for some cool scenery. And I'm going to get a really good sailing opportunity. Can't even see where I'm going. Yep. 
Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Looks like you're home right now. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Oh, yeah. It was worth it just for this. Just for this massive... I wish it was clearer. Like, I wish I could see more where I was going. Oh, I, I was I was hoping I was going to get all the way over to my waypoint, but I fell just short. That's fine. So how much snow are you guys getting right now? No sign of what's his face. Aloy, thanks to you, these soldiers. I didn't see anyone who matched his. Do you know where he was? I was the last one to see him. Just before I told him I wanted to leave this place to pledge my blade, but he refused to discharge. All Tanakh are stubborn fighters, but Ken talk? I was coming back from the opposite bridge when I saw them. You were coming back to make a man. I must find him. If anyone comes. You said Ken talk is your squad leader? I've trained under him ever since it was a sign. He's tough as a shell snapper. But my blade is quicker, deadlier. And he taught me to fight for duty. To serve something greater than yourself. Yes. And yet he wants me to be tethered to this place. Rather than fulfilling a greater purpose with the Chief's Guard. You said you wanted to pledge your blade. Is that what the Marshals... No. The Marshals travel the breadth of the clan land. The Guard remains at the Grove to defend it and the Chief. What's the Grove? It's an ancient ruin dedicated to the Ten. The Chief Akara rules from his throne there. Only a handful of soldiers are chosen for the honor. So, why did Ken talk? He claimed that the greater honor was to serve my squad. But all we do here is gather supplies. How can that compare to guarding the Grove? So a mudslide did all this? We've had more and more of them over the last few years. Torrential rain, lightning strikes, winds that... But this last one? This area used to be as arid as the rest of the desert. The storm. But for all this water, we still rely on the capital. Why is that? This water is poisoned by ash blood. Undrinkable as much. The Inker's apprentice in Scalding Spear mentioned you ex... It's the way of the desert. Where other villages hunt for food or machine parts to trade... Collect rocks. Important rocks. The cl How can they record their glories without our... I can take another look around the village. Natika. I'm here. Where's Kentok? We're going to find him. He saved me. Pushed me out of the way, but then the flood took him. The gouge? It's an ancient passage that leads deep underground. Natika, we need orders. We're exposed out here. Only half of us can hold a blade if... What do you want us to do? Go. The gouge is in the hillside, northwest of here. Okay. Go to the gouge. One to two feet a day. Holy crap, dude. That is nuts. I can't imagine that. Have I listened to Lark's Tongues and Aspic? No, I have not. What is that? Understood. It's 
a prog album, but really heavy. Okay. By who? You must be the gouge. King Crimson. Okay, I've heard of King Crimson. I do have an album by them. One album. It's called um, Three of a Perfect Pair, I believe is the name of it. Okay, let's see where this leads. And their bass player, his name is uh, Tony Levin. And he is also the bass player for another group called Liquid Tension Experiment, who I am a big, big fan of. Take it easy. You must be Kim Talk. Oh. I was an outlander, not my name. Atika sent me to find you. The soldier you saved told us you were swept away by the mudslide. And so, he made it. Good. And... Natika... She came back? Yeah. She was on her way back to talk to you when the mudslide happened. She's looking after the survivors now. It was... my mistake to... deny her discharge. A soldier... is supposed to sacrifice... for the good of the tribe. Looking back now, she was right. I didn't want to let her go. The chief's guard will gain an invaluable soldier. At least after all this, I won't be in the way anymore. I can tell you know a fatal wound when you see one. My service to my clan is done. So, leave me. No. You're not going Poor to guy. die down here. There has to be a way to get you out. There isn't. I tried to climb out. But it's no use. The walls are too slick. Water's coming in. From the surface? Not from where I came in. There must be another source. And if I find it, and open it up. You might not be able to move, Kentok. But I think there might be a way to move you. Hey, hey, I need you to stay awake. I'm going to take a look around. <laughs> You're just like Natika. Relentless as a fire claw. And you should be used to it. Just sit tight. I'm going to get you out of here. Okay. The waterfall must be coming from somewhere. I need to get higher up to figure out where it's going. But first, we gonna look under the water. Okay, there's something. Pull this open. Oh really? I can't get up there? Okay. About to say. Water's coming from that vent. There must be another source. Give me that crate. Dude, I see the crate right there. Look. 
Let's go. No? Not cool. Is there a way to come in from the other side? I don't think so. She said it was a dead end. And it won't let me get to that crate, really? Oh, it can be moved with the pool caster. Okay. It's not cooperating with me. Okay, whatever, screw that. Across the way, might be able to pull some of it out. Poor guy, and he at the bottom of this shaft. Am I like pelting him with rocks right now? By the by, uh, I have a question for some of y'all. I came across this tall neck, and I, there was nothing I could do with it. So those of you who are familiar with the game, just a yes or no question. Can I do anything with this tall neck at this point in the game, or do I have to wait till later? I don't want to know the solution to the puzzle. I just, I, I have to wait. That's, dude, that is disappointing. Cause like, tall necks are literally what you use to unlock the map. And I feel like I'm going to have explored everything before I even have access to get the tall neck. That's kind of backwards in my opinion. I saw down below should be coming in. Gotta find its source. somewhere send this to my stash yep this game is quite massive uh let's see what my percentage is at now Uh, 28%, 27 hours. <laughs> I 
I can't believe this is... I I don't know. I, I, I can't see this being a 100-hour game. I can use the fire gleam to break open that wall. And this whole place should flood. What's up, Jeremy? Good to see you, dude. Do I plan on getting the platinum trophy? Short answer, yes. Long answer, it depends on how how annoying some of the trophies are. Which the first game did not have annoying trophies, but it, I, I have a. You tell her yourself. She said you're a stubborn fighter, so keep fighting. I have I have a um hunch that there's gonna be a trophy related to the strike mini game and if it's anything you know so some some mini games are fun some are annoying and if it's too annoying to play then i might i might skip that one i don't know we'll see he gone he definitely gone yeah blade answers only to the hand that commands it he would say that every time we sparred Sometimes as an insult, other times as a compliment. But I guess he was right. It was always my choice to stay or go. I'm sorry you didn't get to make amends. So am I. What will you do now? I'm not sure. Lady Mark has a chance to recover. And once that's done, I could join the Chief's Guard. But I have to lay him to rest first. With full soldier's honors. Hey, wait, wait. You saved my comrades, somehow drained the entire village. I want you to have this. Thanks. And good luck. Whatever you decide. All right. He used to wake us all up before dawn to train. Wait, why is that the highlighted quest? No, I've already done that. Okay. All right, guys, I think I'm about to wrap things up. Um, in a few minutes here. I hate those types of mini games. Yeah, I mean, some of them, I mean, like the example I gave earlier a few days ago was Triple Triad in Final Fantasy VIII. I love Triple Triad in Final Fantasy VIII, but it's super simple. Like, it's a simple game. It's easy to learn. There's not a million rules, you know, and it fits well within within the game. Um, a game that I, a mini game that I don't like, sticking with the Final Fantasy theme, is Blitzball. Blitzball is freaking awful. And Blitzball is the reason I will never platinum Final Fantasy X, ever. Um, I hate Blitzball. That's an example of a bad mini game. And so, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what the requirements are. I, I typically don't look up the trophy requirements until after I beat the game because I don't want spoilers and whatnot. So, that's how it's going to be. Um, I think there was some healing stuff I wanted to unlock. Gather more resources from plants. That sounds like a good deal to me. Medicine capacity. That's going to be my next one. 
Nothing like a practice blow to the ribs to shake off sleep. Okay, so... Oh, that's not marked off. I wonder why that is. All right, well, given that my tall neck is no, no good here, I'm not going to, like, belabor the exploration because... As I said, I don't want to explore everything and then get the tall neck because that is pointless. So I'm really going to warp here. And then I will face this tall neck that eludes me much to my displeasure. And then uh, here I'm going to have to call it a night. So um thank you guys for hanging out it was lots of fun oh you're um you're doing the time trials and crash oh i have done the time trials i do have the crash bandicoot one two and three platinums that was exceedingly difficult to do those time trials are really tough um but uh kudos to you for even trying and and if you keep at them you'll get them for me, some of them just some of those levels just took me a million tries to get. It really was more patience than anything else. But uh, stick with it and you'll get it. Alright, guys. As always, was a pleasure. Hope you guys have an awesome start to your week tomorrow. And uh we'll catch you guys next time. So um take care. And I'll see y'all later.